Hey guys, in the last video we installed the Daikon for G VNA. In this video we will be sending some studies to it using the storage SU emulator from DVTK. If you didn't yet watch the installing of the Daikon for G, I will leave a link to it up there so you can go ahead and check it out. There's also a video about installing Docker if you need more information on that. So as we can see, there currently are no studies, so we, we selected the uh, Daikon G uh, web service here. You can press on count and uh, it says there are zero studies. So in order to send some Daikon studies, uh, we are going to use now the DVTK tool. There are many tools for sending Daikon studies, but this is an easy tool to use. So uh, I'll get you introduced to it. So you can go to dvtk.org uh, and go to downloads you need to uh, create a login, it's free. And after you have created the login, you can download these tools. There are multiple tools here, but today we'll just look into the storage SCU emulator. So this acts as a modality and enables you to send uh, studies in DICOM SCP. So SCP is the uh, service class provider, the server side. So the DICOM for GVNA is in that role. And the SCU, SCU is the client side and a modality, a DICOM modality would be in that role. So go ahead and, and download uh, the latest version of this SCU emulator, you also need the DICOM definition files, which are over here. So download that one as well. First install the definition files, then install the emulator. They are simple uh, installers, so I trust you're able to do that. So once you have installed them, um, you can go ahead and launch the storage SCU emulator. This is now all in default settings and we need to point it to the correct remote AI title and remote TCP IP address. So in this case, we have the Daikon for GVNA running at this IP. This is the Ubuntu server I installed the Docker container on. Let's point it to that IP address. We can do a ping test. Uh, ping goes successfully through because that's the correct IP but the DICOM echo will not go through because that's not the correct port and the AI title is not correct. So one way to find the AI title and the port is going to configuration here, then AI list, and then we can find this AI title DICOM for G. This is the one we want to send to. So let's copy that as the AI title now we still need the port and the ports for this <coughs> AI title, there are two ports. The other one is for secured connections. We are using the one which doesn't need the certificate. So it's this one, I'll copy that in as the remote port. And now we can again do a DICOM echo and this, it should succeed. DICOM echo successful. Then we have uh, the SEU settings. So this is the kind of modality side. Uh, we can leave this at the default. We can leave this also at the default. There is a secure connection option, but let's not go into that now. Uh, storage commitment is something you can disable or leave on. It doesn't really matter at this point. The main goal here is to get a Darkroom study sent over to the Darkroom for GVNA. So in order to send a DICOM study, we need to download a DICOM study. You can go, for example, to this site uh, to find some DICOM studies, which uh, somebody has provided here. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. I downloaded a couple ones. The first one, the MR, and then this uh, Brain CT. I downloaded that one as well. I used 7-zip to unzip those. I have them here in the test study folder. Okay, so in order to send the DICOM study, we go to file and export DICOM data. Sounds a bit weird, but exporting kind of means here sending. So then we can either select DICOM files or select the DICOM directory or a source directory. 
So now let's select a source directory and let's go into that um, test studies folder. Let's select one of the CT studies here, uh, CT number one, click on OK and it already started sending the images in that folder. Let's check how many images there were. Yeah, so it only had three files in it. That was uh, quick to send. There's nothing in red, so it seems it was successful. We can go to the Dark4G UI, go back to navigation, go to the studies. We have Dark4G selected. We can again click on count and it should show one study. Press on submit and we should see that study in the list here. So it's Peter Doe, it's a CT study, study description, a CT head, should have three objects in here and we should be able to view the DICOM object and we can see that that image here. Send some more images, we could go back to file, send, uh, export DICOM data, select source directory. That second folder should have some more images. It's uh, sending all of those files. Check how many objects it had. Uh, here we have 32 item, items. Again, click on submit, check. So most likely it's for the same page in the second series. So now we can see two series. Uh, the first one is a survey, three images, and then we have the head series with 32 slices, and let's check images here. So this is how you can send studies to the Darkroom for GVNA, uh, visualizing them via this kind of uh, admin UI is not very handy. So I'll do a next video where we install an open source viewer, the OHIF viewer, in a Docker container and connected to this DACOM for GVNA to view these DACOM studies. And I'll leave a card for it somewhere over there when I have posted it.